you ask for a label, a condition, I can only say that life out of the water for Clay does not come easy. I think he lives very much in the present, the place most of us want to be. When the ocean's going off and he's not in it, he becomes uncomfortable in his skin. He has to feel it. Clay is connected to the sensation of surfing, the visual experience of being in the wave. He begins to feel the wave from the shore. He's in tune. If you watch Clay, you can see his body begin to prepare. When he was young, I used to ground him if he got into trouble. We lived near the ocean, so he was always aware of the surf. I learned that he had to be in the water. Punishing Clay by keeping him out of the water was not a punishment, but a sentence. A lot of people don't get Clay. He's living, keeping it simple, and everyone is trying to figure him out. Clay does not live in his ego. Clay is pure, raw. He is not going to tell his story with words. Listen and watch Clay, and you may also see his pure intelligence. He definitely sees life different than most. He is as alive as one can be in the thrill of the ocean, and I watch as he struggles for air out of it. I cannot or will not give my son a label. Surfing's going in a cool direction right now, and I think Clay Marzo is a part of that whole revolution. Clay surfs amazing. I don't know how they do what they do nowadays. Far out, I love clay surfing. It's amazing. One of the most futuristic surfers we got going, and probably definitely one of the best. Oh, in terms of abilities, at the top, no doubt. Probably no one at 18 and his age in the world right now that, that does the biggest stuff as he does. As far as 18 year olds goes, he's the best one in the world by far. He blows anyone hands down. If he's not sleeping, he's getting barreled. You know, that's pretty typical of, of uh, Clay. I was there for like two weeks in California. I saw him every single spot I went to, he was in the water. I never seen someone surf so much. I'm like, this kid is really surf site grom. Can't really pinpoint Marzo. He's the true original. I, I've never seen anybody do this sort of surfing that he does. I mean, he just goes for it on every wave, absolutely every wave. Um, Clay's just his whole approach to surfing is wild. Um, he goes just on pure feeling. So yeah, how do you get a surfer that can only do his best surfing when he's totally not thinking? When he's surfing, he has no clue what he's gonna do until it's like done, it looks like. You know, it's just like straight instinct to him. It's crazy. The way he sets it up, a like big bottom turn and the lip is just, you know, it's like second nature to him, it's weird. Oh, I guess always the tail's gonna be flying, but you never know where he's gonna end up, because, because, He'll end up backwards grabbing this rail, looking up at the lip, and then it spins it right around and just keeps going down the line. You can just tell as soon as he takes off, that's all that's gone through his head, you know. He just wants to destroy that wave and do the biggest, craziest turn he can. And he's got that knack. He's just like some sort of cat where, you know, no matter what sort of crazy position he puts himself in, he always seems to be right out of it. A bit of an elastic man. He can recover from the weirdest positions. It's pretty entertaining to watch, that's for sure. You know, when I first saw him surf, I was like, he, he knows things I don't know, you know? He knows things that the, all these other guys I'm surfing with don't know. It's funny, if you watch a wave of myself and then you watch him back to back, I look like a stiff old man, you know? Just like, ugh. And then he's just like, looks like he's always just, you know, moving. Looks like he, he could bend like in between his joints or something. And it's not like, you know, you can practice that. You almost have to just be born with that kind of skill or, 
Whatever, if he's double jointed, I don't know. His personality, yeah, he's a trip. I don't really, I'm, I'm glad he's really quiet and shy and reserved. And when he rides away, he seems just like radical Black Sabbath, just, you know, goes for it. Like, totally different guy. It's hard to know what's going on in that kid's heads a lot of the times, you know? And he doesn't give you enough to, to grasp, to hang on to. There's always like a gray area. I think more than uh, most people I've ever met, he moves to the beat of his own drum. He gets excited. Like, uh, it's pretty hard to get the excitement out of him, but uh, he doesn't say much. So like the whole time we travel with him, he, he only gets excited when he sees a, a sick little left or when, when he's eating. So good. And it's, it's good to be around, you know, he froths a lot, you know, he gets you excited in the water. Even if it's one foot big or like 10 foot or 20 foot, like he's, uh, he's up for it. Yeah, he starts doing this. I love that. You ever see the waves, especially the left? I'm start using that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's classic, yeah. Hello, sir. Okay. Just fun. Just fun trip. Good job, man. Good ripping. Bye bye. <laughs>